two words for you. Game seven. Welcome to EA Sports. Opening face off just moments away. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Takes the pass. The one-timer. We get a stoppage in play. Almost anarchy in front of that net. Well, there certainly is. It was chaotic. And the ozone possession time is certainly up. They needed this rest with a great play by the tender. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And now it's grabbed by Gostas Bear. The Red Wings are in transition. Quick pass to Kane. Reaches out and uses the stick. Coyle's got it into offensive territory. Tosses it on to Debrinkit. And now he moves it to Kane. Takes that pass back at the point. Too much congestion blocks the shot. They've got numbers. Beats and cross. Oh, what a stop by Husso. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And they win the draw here in their own end. Petrie's moving the puck through his own zone. Detroit's got it along the wall. And bunts it out of midair. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Perron's going on for slashing. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. For the score of this game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Quick feed to Hall. Cops got the puck along the wing. Wax it into the offensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Angles it over to Frederick. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Frederick's got the puck. The Red Wings will kill off a few extra seconds now. Into the attacking end. They put the puck into the offensive end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Picks up the puck. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Husso. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Off the face-off, they take the puck. Here they come on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Great save by Olmark. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Comfort side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Coils won the draw here in their own zone. Across the line along the left wall. Tries to feed it over to Marchand. Puts it towards the net. Handles that one. Great read with the stick. Off his stick. Great save by Husso. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Scoops up the puck. Feeds it to Marchand. Off the post! And the defensive team's got it now! They desperately need a clear here. He scores! Big goal from David Pasternak! They're able to open up this one-timer by moving that puck around the offensive zone. He gets set to position, James, and he's ready for it, and he lets it fire, and it goes to the back of the net. 
Boston's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Well, with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even this. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Detroit's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Five on three, you know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Handles the puck. Omar's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Browns recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Comes up with the stop. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Works it across to Kane. Poked away in the neutral zone. And somehow he hangs on. Quick shot. Turned aside. And now he passes it to Perron. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Larkin. Sends the pass over. And that's turned aside by Omar. Here he is on the tip. Under all sorts of pressure in his own end with the puck now. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Cutting to the net. And another consecutive save. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much needed stoppage. Humphers ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Detroit's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Redirected shot. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage, and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. Coils gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. And a smart heads-up play with the bank. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Debrinkin. The Bruins get a hold of the puck under man. And they manage to clear it. Puck scooped up by Perron. Detroit's looking to break out. And he jumps out of the sin bin. We are back to even strength. Solid effort by the penalty killing unit here. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync, almost as if they're on a pendulum or a string together, knowing exactly what the other is going to do and a reason they're still tied. Grabs the puck. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. The Red Wings played along the wing. Here's a short pass to Kane. With the stop. Moves it over to Van Riemsdyk. Great reach with the poke check by Petrie. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Bruins take it across the blue line. 
Here's a chance. And that goes off. The glove play continues here. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Shot. Oh, what a stick save. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Fabry. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Boston's ready to go on the attack. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Boston's got it now. Easily turned aside by Husso. Pass back to the point. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here's an off man rush. Lead pass ahead. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Mata. And he'll lug the puck deep inside his own end here. Slides it diagonally to Mata. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Detroit's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Well, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can sit back and protect it. Boston's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And that's broken up by Costin. On the attack along the boards. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Handles the pass. Here we go, on man rush. Drives to the sweet spot. Blocked in traffic. Big stop right there. Gains the zone from the right side. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Sends it in on the attack. Sends a pass over. Boston's moving it up the ice. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Here comes the call from the official. Fisher's two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Detroit's got the puck shorthanded. Dumps it in. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick pass to Frederick. Pushes it across to Perron. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Quick feed to Frederick. Up along the wing. Centering feed. And that shot's blocked. Centering pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Set the face-off dog ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Comfer's quick stick off the draw wins possession. They clear the zone. Boston's got the puck at the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Saka. Passes it to Lindholm. 
Moves the puck to DeBrusque. And he can't hang on after that hit. Shot. Great save by Husso. Keeps possession. And the puck clears the zone. Dishes it to DeBrusque. Here's a short pass to Frederick. Shot. Big time stop. Husso is able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. Tried to play it off the glass, but that's kept. Score! tied it up. Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage of the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. This is a beautiful goal, James. You get in tight, you pause the goaltender, move it to the backhand, and you finish. Here in the late going of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. Brasso is going to play it against the half wall. The Red Wings have it now. Takes the feed. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Grislyk. That's it for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice and period number two is about set to go. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Red Wings need to step up offensively and more confidence with the puck chains. They're really not entering with any conviction and they're staying on the perimeter. The minority of shots and they're lucky. They're real lucky that this game is still tied. Moves the puck. Quick pass across to Pasternak. Slides that one right across the blue line. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another time. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. The Bruins are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. And that's poked away by Kane. Picked up along the wall by Pasternak. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Boston's got a one-goal lead. Zach has got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Chris has tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you've got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. I love the 1-3-1 one, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams. Score! Score! on the power play! The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you.
Cross is now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Puck picked up by Grislyk. With possession along the wall. Angles it over to Perron. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he takes the pass. And he coughs it up with the pass. Here he is shot right in front and makes the save. Olmark's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a whole hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Boston's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. That knocks him off the puck. DeBrusque's crossed the line and gained the zone. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Detroit's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Boston's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Frederick's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And here comes the judgment from the official. Comfer's getting called for tripping. dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. Boston's got the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Tries to get it to Pasternak. Moves it to Chrysler. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Kane. Moves around along the half wall. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Larkin. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And he takes the feed. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Pasternak's been leading the way offensively, James, and everyone's kind of looking to him. He has three points in the game, and the puck's been like magic on his stick. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Boston's got the puck. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Lindholm's got it in the defensive zone. From the slot, fires away. The Bruins gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Saka. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Tries to feed it over to McAvoy. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into a hit, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. 
Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Quick shot. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. The Bruins take it along the wall. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Detroit's got it from behind the net and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. Wow, James, that was just a blast from the high spot. Not sure where the coverage went, though. The coach is not going to be very impressed with the lack of support in the defensive zone. The Bruins are having one of those nights, Cheryl, that everything that can go right is. Yeah, it's all going right, James, because they're doing everything right. They've been dominating play in all three zones, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And he takes the dish. Passes over to Brazil. Poked away at center by Perron. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. Perron's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Brown stick handling in his own zone. Handles the pass at center. Comfort's got it now deep inside his own end. Raymond's got it across the line. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Larkin's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Slick feed. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Boston's on the attack. Feeds it to Debrinkit. Moves it to Kane. Oh, can't finish. Well, he can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. Back to the point it goes. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Takes a shot, and that misses the net. Tremendous cycle work going. Big save right there. There's a hit on the play. And that's knocked away. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Locks him. Grabbed along the board by Kane. And he keeps possession. Nice zone entry on the left side. Fires it on it. Just gets enough to keep it out. The Red Wings have it now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Rips it, and that goes off a player. Puck grabbed by Heinen. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Oh, the save of the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. 
Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Bruins have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. Pasternak's moving it ahead. Play is blown dead with the offside. The Bruins are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. The Red Wings win the faceoff at center. And he's ridden off the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kane. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Zaka's got it in the offensive zone. Lyon's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Boston's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick pass to McAvoy. Inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to DeBrusque. And that's intercepted by Comper. Moves it quickly over to Gostaspare. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Bruins have been penalized, holding the call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Takes the feed. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Here's a chance to the middle. And that chance is blocked. Grabbed along the boards by Debrinkit. Tries to the crease. Now, they score. And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got picked right back out. The Red Wings are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Poked away at center by Pasternak. Here's a shot! Stones up with the blocker. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Petrie. Blocked in front. Moves it to Wallman. Sends the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And the puck's kicked free. Taken along the wall by Grisnik. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Get a glove on that! What a stop by Lyon! The Bruins have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Perron. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Just an easy pad save made by Omar. Takes the pass. Takes a shot. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Quick pass to DeBrus. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. debrusque has got it along the wing. Quick feed to Wallman. Great poke check on the reach. Can't keep.
keep a hold of the puck after that play. Musa quickly over to Carlo. The Red Wings gain control of it. Here they come up along the wing. Receives the pass. And a solid save there as we play on. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Taken by Gostas there. Oh, scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. Ah, uh, the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. Detroit's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. He's got a step. Denied by the blocker. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Denies him again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Detroit's going to play it from the corner. Strong defensive effort. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they clear the defensive zone. Moves it to Sider. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Red Wings play it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Gostas there. Delayed penalty looming. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game. And man, this has been a parade to the penalty box. And the entire bench looks agitated. And as a result, they keep taking more. They'll go back to work on their special teams. And the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pass your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. The Red Wings win the draw on their own end. Geeky's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Mata's got it in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Hall. Centering feed! And a new pass! What a chance, but they can't connect! Boston's moving it into the offensive end. And that's intercepted by Mata. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Quick pass to Kopp. Puck dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. Passes on over to Pasternak. Knocked away by Hall. Hands it over on the attack. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Boston's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Marchand. Boston's got the puck against the boards. There's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. Puck battle along the boards. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Brasso. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Denied by the puck stopper. 
In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Carlin Bade has been with us all night, standing by once again at ringside. Pasternak's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. and try and get another one. Well, you create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Boston's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And off the face-off, they take possession. Nasty hit along the wall. Frustration bubbling over late in the game when you're down by a bunch. You know you're not getting back in and you deliver that hit. Yeah, it's one thing. You know it's over. You're completely frustrated. And you chose. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Dumps it into the ozone. Petrie's taking it from his own end. Into the offensive zone. The Red Wings have the puck in the corner. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Detroit's been strong offensively throughout this game, just haven't been rewarded. They've had a ton of scoring chances, but a missed shot trailing in the third period. You've got to find the net, and that's something they need to do better if they want to convert. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I don't think the PKers are going to be blocking any shots on this one, James. I know I wouldn't be. Just look at the score of this game. It's over.